Good afternoon. Brandon here from Life's Secret Sauce, where we teach young motivated professionals how to fast track their careers using the skills that we should have been taught in school, like effective communication and how to introduce yourself properly and how to tell a great story, rather than learn useless things like how to make a potato battery. You know, oh no, the electricity is out. Let me go get two potatoes, a light bulb, and some wire and MacGyver something up. Uh, no, not so useful. And since the power isn't out and I don't have any potatoes anyway, I figured today that we could talk about the four languages of communication. No, we're not talking English, Spanish, French, German, but the four types of communication comprehension. Speak with one, eh, you're all right. Speak with two, you're probably better than average. Use three, they're hanging on your every word. Use all four, you might as well buy yourself a tour bus and start booking speaking gigs. So what are these four? What are the four secret keys of communication? Well, you have visual, auditory, auditory digital, and kinesthetic. Got that? Now let's break them down. Number one, visual. Visual communicators learn by seeing. They like pictures and video, and they'll likely get distracted by long verbal messages where you go on and on. Your appearance and the appearance of what your message looks like is key. It's all about what it, what it looks like, what they can visualize. Using pictures and videos and slides is going to help with their comprehension. These are people that can envision things in their mind's eye quickly, and they normally talk faster than most. They are gonna use words such as, it seems, it sees, it looks, it appears, that I imagine, or bird's eye view. They're gonna use very visual terms when they're speaking. Number two, auditory. These are people that learn by listening, obviously. They're much more literal, so you have to make sure that you're choosing your words carefully because they are actually listening to you. And these are the people that are most interested in what your message sounds like. What's your tone of voice, your pitch, your volume? They're really listening for all those little aspects. You need to include steps and sequences and procedures so that they are able to follow along. And this type thrives on the details. Now, this type, however, can be easily distracted when they hear other sounds or noises, so you wanna make sure that you keep the attention, the focus on you as the speaker. You know that person that likes to talk on the phone for hours and hours and hours? Most likely an auditory communicator. They are gonna use terms such as hear and sounds good or I'm all ears or that rings a bell, auditory terms. Now, type number three, auditory digital. Now, these commuters communicators take cues from the other types, but they are most interested in a message that simply makes sense. This is your analytical, your facts and figures. You've got to have your statistics at the ready. They need that credibility. This is your, your Albert Einstein type person, the skeptic. Think computer programmer. Now, they're going to use words like, I understand, I think, I perceive, I consider, consider this. They're, they're all up in their heads. And then number four, you have kinesthetic. These are the dancers, the, the movers, the shakers. They learn by moving, by touching, by feeling. They need the hands-on experience. They're going to use more words than most because they are really trying to articulate what the message feels like. Does it feel right? They need to be walked through the process. And most of the time, they speak slower than the other three types of communicators. These are people that take a longer time to process the information because what they do is they follow their gut. They follow what feels right. And they're gonna talk and use terms such as, you know, I, I feel you or, or I need to touch or I'm, I'm grasping this. I'm getting a hold of what you're saying. Okay, so we've got the basics covered. Number one, visuals need to see your message. Auditory need to hear the message. Auditory digital need to understand your message and the kinesthetic need to feel it. They need to touch it. So how do we do that? Well, if you're talking in a group or you're talking to a, a large number of people, you need to hit all four. If you're talking one-on-one, -on -one, what do you do? You simply ask a question and you see how they respond. So for example, an easy one. How's the weather today? If they say that it's sunny, visual. It's warm, they're kinesthetic, they feel it. It's windy, they're an auditory. Ask about their car. Oh, what is your car? It's yellow, they're a visual person. Or it's safe, they feel safe, kinesthetic. You know, kinesthetic people and they drive their Volvos. 
and maybe it's noisy, it's, it's loud car, it's an auditory learner. So ask a question and then see what verbs, what terms they use to respond back. Now, like I said, if you're presenting to a group, you need to use all four styles, but talking one-on-one, -on -one, you need to know what to listen for. Then you can mirror their speech and communicate in their same language. So start mixing it up, work on the four communication styles, start listening and actually paying attention to what phrases other people use when they communicate back to you and listen carefully. And you will be surprised at how quickly you're able to make rapport with people when you actually start speaking their same language, literally. So I hope you got a lot of value, learned a couple of things uh, from today's video. And if you did, click subscribe right down there in the corner where you will get all of this awesome delivered right to you. And you can check out the link below to go visit our blog where you can get even more remarkable content to start fast tracking your life and your career and being even more awesome. So until next time, ciao for now.